This is signs for week 3. So this is another part about uh, matter or materials. Write your name before we begin. So we have another topic. It's about comparing mass and ordering mass. Introductory concept. What are the things that you carry in school? Do they feel light? Do they feel heavy? Aside from the size, color, shape, and texture, we can also tell its mass. So let's get ready and learn more about mass. For our learning competencies, at the end of this learning packet, you should be able to identify materials based on their physical or ob and observable properties, compare the mass of one material to another using arbitrary and or standard measures, order materials from greatest to least or vi vice versa using their me mass measurement as basis. Now, let's move to the activities, starting with activity and analysis one. Look at the following scales and fill in the blanks with heavier than, lighter than, or the same as. So, let's have the first uh, picture. Uh, two objects are being compared. We have uh, pencil, pencil case with pencils and other things, and then an apple. So, the pencil case weighs blank the apple. Is it heavier than the apple, lighter than the apple, or the same as the apple? The second picture, two objects being compared are pitcher and a lampshade. So, the pitcher weighs blank the lamp. So, is it heavier than the lamp, lighter than the lamp, or the same as the lamp? On page 2 is another, the, th the third picture, uh, we have tennis ball and a book. Okay, the tennis ball weighs blank the book. Is it heavier than, lighter than, or the same as? Let's now proceed with activity and analysis 2. The problem that we need to solve for this activity is how do we compare mass of objects? So what to do? Study the picture of objects below and fill in the blanks. So we have here oven weighs blank kilogram. All you have to do is count count this uh, ano yan, mga shape with kg. It means kilogram. So one, one of this it means one kilogram. So just count. So that will be the equivalent weight or mass of the oven. Next is the suitcase. The suitcase weighs blank kilogram. Again, you need to count the one at the left to determine the number of kilograms. Next, a bag of sugar weighs blank kilogram. And then the watermelon weighs blank kilogram. Okay, that's it for page 2. And then we have two questions based on the analy uh, activity and analysis 2. The questions are, which object is heaviest? So among these four, oven, suitcase, sugar, uh, bag of sugar, and then watermelon, which object is, the, is heaviest? And then the next question, which object is lightest? Among those four, Yung watermelon, bag of sugar, uh, suitcase, and yung oven. For anal activity and analysis 3, fill in the blanks. So, blank muna uh, yan muna ang unahin. And then, list down the materials from heaviest to lightest. So, the number of apples will help you identify or determine which one is the heaviest and which one is the lightest. So, all you need to do is count the number of apples. Yan ang equivalent mass of the objects. So, the weight of the book is in apples is blank. So, just write the number. Next, the weight of the table lamp in apples is blank. So, again, count the number of apples. The weight of the pencil case in apples is blank. So, we have here three objects being compared. So, we have book, table lamp, and pencil case. So, tandaan yung tatlo. And then, after you have identified the number of apples equivalent to its mass, you need to fill in these boxes. So, starting from the heaviest, ano yung pinakamabigat dyan? Write the object, 
not the number of apples, the object itself. Ano yung pinakamabigat? Next, the next object, which is a bit lighter, and then the lightest. So, you need to choose among the three book. Is it book, pencil case, or table lamp? So, yan po ang isasagot. Not the number of apples. If you're done, let's now proceed with abstraction. What are the what are the words used to tell the mass of materials? Ano yung mga ginamit natin? What are those phrases? Para maalaman kung alin ang lightest, alin yung heaviest, and in case pareho. Remember this. Matter has mass. The word heavy and light are used to describe mass. What device is used to measure mass? So, when we say device, a tool or an object in measuring. A platform balance is used to measure mass. So, kung may face-to-face -face sana tayo, I will, uh, I will show you a platform balance inside the science laboratory. So, meron ganyan. So, tapos, the materials below are arranged eto may equip may mga weights diyan na ilalagay and then may may pointer if it's pointing at the middle it means uh, it's equal of equal mass so kung ilan yung weights doon then yun din ang mass okay the materials below are arranged from heaviest to lightest on the other hand they can be arranged from lightest to heaviest so the number of lemons tell how heavy or light each object each so referring to the number of lemons so the shoes five lemons the toy train three lemons and the sunglasses one lemon so this one is arranged from heaviest to lightest it means shoes ang pinakamabigat the sunglasses ang pinakamagaan uh, and then uh, it is also mentioned that we can also arrange it from lightest to heaviest so, we can say that the toy train is heavier than the sunglasses. Among them, shoes are the heaviest while the sunglasses is the lightest. So, yan ang arranging mass or ordering mass. This is a, plat a balance scale made from two plastic cups tied on a hanger on the end side. So, ito parang ano to, uh, DIY na instead, if you don't have your platform balance and you just need to identify which one is heavier or which one is lighter, so you can make use of this one. This is to see and compare two objects. So, which is heavier or which is lighter. Yan. So, parang ano to, uh, para for you to easily identify which one has greater mass. Application directions encircle the letter of the statement that describes the mass of the objects presented. So you have choices A, B, or C. Okay, number one figure we have a soccer ball and soccer ball and a beach ball. So which statement is true? Uh, a. Both balls have the same mass. B. The football is lighter than the beach ball. So, soccer ball, football are the same. Next, C. The football is heavier than the beach ball. So, alin ba dyan? The statement that describes the mass of these two objects. Next, for number 2, nawala yung number. This is supposed to be number 2. We have here an apple which is equal to 5 blocks. Uh, ito namang banana. Bananas is equal to 6 blocks. So, which one is a correct statement about this? A. Apple is lighter than bananas. B. Apple and bananas have the same mass. C. Apple is heavier than bananas. Number 3. Okay, we have here different toys. Uh, and it's a rocking horse. Uh, stuffed toy, teddy bear, and a toy plane. Okay, and then there's a pointer showing the mass. So, this toy, uh, rocking horse is 6, I think this is 6 kilograms. Next one, stuffed toy teddy bear is 3, and then the toy airplane is 1. So, and then look at the arrow, it's pointing from left going to your right. So, what does it tell? A, the toys are arranged from lightest to heaviest. 
B. The toys are arranged from heaviest to lightest. C. The toys are similar in mass. And for part B, this time you need to uh, you need to do something. So more than encircling the letters, directions. Think of three things found in your kitchen. So kahit anong bagay na nasa kusina, draw them according to their mass from heaviest to lightest. So we have your three boxes. It means you need to choose three things found in your kitchen, and then the drawing or the the drawing that you're going to make it should start from the heaviest which one is the heaviest down to the lightest so don't forget to draw ah uh, to color them also and part four reflection wow congratulations for finishing this module what have you learned put a check under the proper column so we have here i can Identify materials based on their physical and observable properties. Did you learn uh, this part? Did you learn this from this module? Is it yes or no? Next, compare the mass of one material to another using arbitrary and or standard measures. When we mean standard measures pala, usually na may mention yan, grams, kilograms, so yun ayan. Okay, so were you able to learn this? Is it yes or no? And then order materials from greatest to least or vice versa using their mass measurement as basis. Were you able to arrange them from lightest to heaviest or heaviest to lightest? Is it yes or no? Okay, you, need, you just need to put a check 